Chairman Mao with windscreen wipers. 13th century gargoyles. Retro televisions. And of course, a grand master, a Picasso. For the first time in its 10 year history, London's Freeze Art Fairs mixing the contemporary with the ancient, the cutting edge with the historical. When we launched the fair in London, a lot of galleries came to us who showed historical material and said, well, we love your fair, but actually it doesn't really cover the things we're interested in. We thought, okay, so maybe galleries, collectors, maybe there's an opportunity here. Plenty of opportunity too for more than 170 exhibitors showcasing and selling their works of art. For them, this is a cultural platform, more importantly, an economic opportunity. What's extraordinary, I think, to most people outside of, of the art world is that the market is still going strong, that galleries haven't been closing, that the fairs are doing well, that people are still buying art. And art is not in short supply here. According to reports, a record one and a half billion dollars worth of art is being exhibited at this fair. Not a problem, because pockets here run deep, and the buyers are often anonymous. Within just 10 minutes of the fair opening, this Paul McCarthy sculpture was reportedly sold for over one million dollars. And this Picasso initially priced at 8.5 million dollars was among the early sales. This Damien Hirst painting reportedly cost $800,000. Even we were too late to see it. Amanda Sharp says those investing in art are mostly from emerging economies, South Asia and Eastern Europe. If you buy an artwork as an investment, it's an investment of love. So you can always live with it if you love it, whether the price and value change becomes to some degree irrelevant. Even beyond this fair, art buyers are throwing millions of dollars at works of art. Just down the road from here on Bond Street, an art dealer is selling over $100 million worth of German and Austrian art. On that same road, Sotheby's is auctioning a single painting worth up to $19 million. With numbers like these, it's no surprise. The art market may be one of the very few looking truly picture perfect. Isa Suarez, CNN, London.